guys, Nick Malice here. So, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do patching for KH2FM. I'm going to be covering how to tell the, what the different directories are for different files you want to patch. And, um, and how to set those up. And then I'm going to walk you guys through the process of how to patch and stuff. So, let's go ahead and jump into it. So what you're going to want to do is, hold on, let me open it real quick. Uh, okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a patchmaker.bat. Um, I'll show you guys how to make this real quick. So to make a patchmaker, um, you want right to right click in the folder that you have your toolkit saved. Go to new folder. Or wherever you want to make your patches and stuff. Oh, sorry, not folder. Right click, new, text document. And then, um, and then you want to open that text document. type in this string you want to type in at kh2 fm all uppercase capital t lowercase everything else toolkit dot dot exe and then space dash patch I'll, um, I'll provide a link to this string in the description for some of you guys that get confused. So, um, so that's what you want to type in and then hit save, and then go ahead and hit save. Oh shoot, sorry. No, go ahead and go to file, save as. And then, um, call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Patchmaker. No, I'm just going to call it Patcher. I already have one called Patchmaker. So Patcher. Then make sure you type dot bat. Hit enter. And then go back to your folder. And as you see it made a dot it made a dot bat. So if you double click it, it'll open like that. But you have to have the toolkit in the same folder as the patcher for it to open. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this though because I already have a patcher. But uh, that's how you make a patcher. To be able to tell what directory your files going. Um, you want to go to your you want to go to your export folder. So hold on, let me navigate back there. You want to go to your export folder. Go to the cage 2 folder, and then scroll down, or, or or find the folder that you want that your files are in. That you got your files from. For this example, I'll use the field 2D folder. And as you can see, in the field 2D folder, there's also a folder called JP. So for example, if you want to patch my files in the field 2D folder make a folder titled field 2d inside it a folder called titled jp for japan whatever. and then inside that you put all your field 2d you put all your 2dd files um it's the same for for any other folder you want to check to see how the directory is set up for each folder and then apply your apply your folders accordingly um for the OBJ folder, there's no other extra folder in it, so you, all you need to do is just make that and then put your files, in, put your, all your MDLX files, your A.FM files, and your MZIP files in that. So, um, <laughs> now I'm going to get into how to patch. So, I'm going to delete this. I'll put patch files, because I tried recording this last night, but there was no audio in the video. There was no audio in, to, to, uh, in the video, so I had to, I had to re-record re this. But um, so you want to open up the patch maker, not bad. I'm going to show you guys how to patch both the OBJ folder and the field 2D folder today. For, OBJ, for it to patch, you just hit, a, when, when you open up the patcher, you'll be presented with this shit here. And then it will say, press enter to run using this file, using the file output.kh2 patch. So you want to hit enter, then enter in anything, you can enter in anything here, you can enter in your name, you can enter something random. 
Just don't make it too random because you won't be able to be able to tell who you are. But um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna put in my name. And then for the, re the revision number is basically the amount of times you've made changes to your mod, to your mod, or whatever you're making. So, for, so for example, if you made a, if you if you made 23, if you made changes to to a mod or something you're making, um, 23 times, then you would put 23 there. But for this example, I'm just gonna put one. This is just a tutorial. I'm gonna put one there. And then for change slot, then anything that any changes you made to your mod or whatever you're making, you can put here for the change log. And then obviously credits for anybody that's helped you with the mod, you can put here and enter again. And if you have any extra information you'd like to add for, to your mod, you can put here. And then, and then right here is where you enter in the file directory. So for this, so for these two examples, I'm going to be doing the OBJ folder first. So I'm going to type OBJ forward slash, and then the file name that you want to attach. So for this example, I'm going to be doing base source MDLX. So base source MDLX is p underscore ex 100 dot MDLX. So I'm going to put capital P underscore capital ex 100 dot lowercase mdlx and hit enter then it'll ask you bring a link to this file name blank for none um, you just hit enter then it'll ask you if you want to compress this file hit end for no then it'll ask you parent compress file blank leave blank for case 2 just hit enter and then for where it says should this file be added if it's if he's not in the game and you just hit end for now again and hit enter and then for any other files you want to add you would enter in here so I'm going to do the field 2d1 for this so we're going to do field 2d forward slash jp forward slash and then the name of the file so I'm just going to copy the name of the file because I don't remember how it's how it's spelled out so let's just copy the name of the one from um, Pirates of the Caribbean for this example so um so yeah just copy that paste that then type dot 2dd or if you remember the file name, you can just type it, but I'm just going to copy and paste it because I, I have a hard time remembering the field 2D file formats. Um, and then type 2DD, then hit enter, enter again, end for no, enter, enter again, end for no, enter. And then if you're done patching files, then you would just hit enter again, and there you go. It, it made a patch of both files. Let's go back and see if our patch is in there. And yep, it made an output.kh2 patch file. So that's basically how you patch kh That's how you, it's basically how you make patches for kh 2 Um, let me real quick show you guys how to, um, re rebuild your ISO for testing, for testing your mod and stuff. For some of you that don't know how to do that. So for, so you want to go to where you, to where you, to where you, Make, make to where you um, repatch your game, whatever folder you have your files in that you patch your game in. I have a separate folder for that, so because I rename my patches and then I patch them separately. But um, <clears throat> depending on where you guys patch your files, you want to go there, or patch your game, you want to go there, and then um, <clears throat> I'm gonna delete this real quick. And then once you have your patch. You want to select it and then the other patches you have and then just drag and drop it onto the toolkit oh sorry I should I should probably add um, for the, you want to make sure you have your ISO in the same folder as your patches and your toolkit and then um, rename it to cage2fm I would recommend renaming it in all caps just to be safe I'm not sure if it works in lowercase but I would probably re I would recommend doing it in all caps just in case 
but yeah, um, rename it to KH2FM, and then drag it, drop your patches onto the toolkit, and you'll be presented with all of this. This is all the information from all from the patches. Uh, I don't know why it's not reading in my shit, in my patch. Oh, because I didn't add anything. Okay. Um, and then um, hit enter. Just hit enter on your keyboard, and it'll start re re rebuilding your ISO. And then once it's done, you just you just test your ISO on your in the emulator and see if your mod works. I'm gonna stop this. So yeah, that's basically how you patch, how you rebuild your ISO and re and repatch your game. So I hope this was helpful, guys. I hope some of you understand how to do this now. Um, for those of you who are confused, you can comment you can comment down below, and I'll try to and I'll try to help you as best I can. Um, also guys, um, I'm trying my best to get some, some content out on the channel. Um, it's just been r tough because I've been having issues with, with motivation and trying to finish it. Uh, but, I, but just be patient. I will eventually have something out for you guys to watch, for you guys to see. Um, I'm still working on stuff, so don't, don't, don't be, don't fret. I'm still trying to finish modifications. It's just a, a struggle because of motivation. So, um, just try to bear with me and just try to be patient. Um, I will have something out eventually. So yeah, it's Necromatic guys.